from the Zayn Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zayn Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zayn Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time once again for the introductions in this round two game. Entering from my right is the Zayn Scholars team from Mzumbe University, Tanzania. Samuel Ndandala, second year, accounting and finance, Dar es Salaam. Joseph Wamba Mwai, third year law, Mombasa, Kenya. Kimwaga Mhando, second year economics, Dar es Salaam. And from my left is the Zane Scholars team from Mbarara University of Science and Technology, Uganda. Joseph Open, first year pharmacy, Lira. Alice Dube, fourth year medicine, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Alex Tuhairi, first year medicine, OIM. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy, plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in center position from Barara University, Uganda, is Joseph. Joseph, you are going to be a pharmacist eventually. What are your future plans? Um, I would like to be a researcher, because when you're a researcher, you see it's like a game. There's a virus, it has its own rules, it, it's like you, you have to beat it at its own games. For example, the HIV virus, it has the key to our cells. So it's up to me to either take that key away or change our padlocks. So the whole thing is just like a game, it's fun. Right, well, playing the Zane Africa Challenge is good preparation. Kimwaga from Mzumbe University, Tanzania. You are an economist by university training. What are your future plans? I'd still like to remain in the economics field because I believe we have lots of resources which we're not using properly. So, and economics is all about managing our scarce resources to benefit everyone. So I'd like to play a bigger part in ensuring that all resources are used in the interest of the people. Well, you won the toss to be the first to choose a face-off question, and I hope you're going to use your resources to choose a good category for your team. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are across the land, let's go Russia, synthetic materials, world business. World business, please. World business it is. International business analysts rank which soft drink company as having the world's most valuable brand name. Mzumbe. Coca-Cola. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. What is the full name of the international corporations better known by these initials? B One, BP. British Petroleum. That is correct. British Two, British IBM. British. International Business Machines. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 30 straight off. Kimwaga, choice of category, please. World Business. Business it is. 
Word, PowerPoint and Excel are found in the popular Office package from which largest software company? Mbarara. Microsoft. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Access Excel, PowerPoint, Word. One, which Microsoft Office product is a spreadsheet program? Excel. Is correct. Two, which is a presentation graphics program? PowerPoint. Is correct for 20 points, giving you 30 straight off. Joseph, choice of category, please. Let's go, Russia. Let's go, Russia. Dinar, dollar, euro, ruble. Which is the basic unit of Russian currency? Barara. Rubble. Is correct for 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five point bonus for all three. The Russian flag consists of horizontal bars of which three colors? White, yes. red, and blue. Yes. For 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Joseph, choice of category, please. Let's go, Russia. Russia it is. Which Russian word for little water names their popular alcoholic beverage distilled from grain or potatoes? Barara. Vodka. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, in the 1500s, Ivan IV adopted which title Russian for Caesar? Sir. That is correct. And two, Ivan IV is better known as Ivan the what? The terrible. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 90. Joseph, choice of category, please. Let's go, Russia. Russia it is. Who was the last Tsar of Russia executed with his family in 1918? Mzumbe? Uh, Nicholas. Yes. For 20 points, what was the family name of Russia's final royal dynasty? Romanov. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Kimwaga, choice of category, please. World business. Business it is. The International Monetary Fund is headquartered in which U.S. city on the Potomac River? Mzumbe? Uh, Washington DC. Is correct for 20 bonus points. The World Trade Organization is headquartered in which Swiss city, also home to several UN organizations? Geneva. Geneva is correct for 20 points. Kimwaga, choice of category, please. Synthetic materials. It is. Rayon was invented in the 1890s as a cheap substitute for which smooth S fiber spun by a worm? Barara. Silk. Silk is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, water, electricity, light, heat. Which makes thermoplastics soften? Heat. That is correct. Two, the thermoplastic abbreviated HDPE is high density what? Polymers. polymers. No, the correct answer was polyethylene. End of round one. The score stands at the end of round one at 90 for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 110 for Mbarara University, Uganda. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zain. Recognizing that education is key to the future, Zain created the Build Our Nation program. This CSR effort supports education by providing books for classroom use, building computer labs, and by refurbishing and furnishing school facilities. Zane has been playing a key role by donating computer to school in order to allow those young people today develop those skills and be able to get the best benefits out of the ICT sector going forward. Zane also supports community by drilling boreholes to create safe water supplies, planting trees to improve the ecology and environment, and supporting cultural initiative. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 90 for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 110 for Mbarara University, Uganda. We have two new face-off players in center position. From Mbarara University, Uganda, is Alex, an icon in your life. Yes. Uh, it is Wallace Oinka, the Nigerian writer, uh, the first black African to get the Nobel Prize in 1986. Uh, he's a very good writer, and he gives him inspiration that one day, since he made it, I'll also make it in writing. And you'll also win the Nobel Prize. That's something to aim for. From Mzumbe University, we have Samuel, an icon in your life. 
Well, that's my dad. Uh, he's, a, he's a family man, a guy who takes care of the family, uh, sacrificing stuff and working hard to keep us up. So as a man, I would like to grow up and be like him. I hope all the ladies in the house are listening. There's a man to marry. For the time being, you can choose a category. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are African leaders, M, recent history in Africa, rivers, ranges, and regions, words, and language. Sam, choice of category, please. African leaders, M. Leaders it is. Since 1994, which nation has been run by M presidents, starting with Bachili Muluzi? Mbarara University? Mal Malawi. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Which M leader is the current president of Malawi? Being one Farika. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 140 against Mzumbe's 90. Alex, choice of category, please. African leaders. Leaders it is. Which head of state whose name begins with M is the longest serving president of Uganda? Mbarara. Museveni. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other two African presidents whose names also begin with MU have been in office longer than Museveni? Robert Mugabe. That is correct. Mubut Seseko. No, the other answer is Hosni Mubarak of Egypt. Alex, choice of category, please. African leaders. African leaders it is. In 1948, Prime Minister Daniel Malan institutionalized absolute white rule in which nation? Mbarara. Reunion. No, I'm turning it over to Mzumbe. South Africa. Yes, for 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five-point bonus for all three. Since the end of apartheid, which three presidents whose names begin with M have led South Africa? Nelson Mandela. Yes. Tabumbeki. Yes. Haglema Motlante. Yes. For 20 points, bringing your total to 120 against Mbarara's 160. Samuel, choice of category, please. African leaders. M. Leaders it is. From 1985 to 2005, Ali Hassan Mwinyi and Benjamin Mkapa served successively as president of which East African nation? Mbarara. Tanzania. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, in 1991, Ismail Mohammed became the first non-white judge of which nation? South Africa. That is correct. Two, as counsel for SWAPO, Judge Mohammed wrote which other nation's constitution? Namibia. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total 190 against Mzumbe's 120. Alex, choice of category, please. Recent history in Africa. Recent history it is. Which coastal city debuts its Greenpoint Stadium in 2009 as the venue for eight matches of the 2010 World Cup? Mbarara. No, Mbarara, you are conferring over to Mzumbe. Cape Town. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Togo. In January 2009, Mrs. Joyce Bamford Addo was sworn in as the first woman Speaker of Parliament in which nation? Ghana. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 150. Samuel, choice of category. Recent please. history in Africa. It is. Despite a drop in its price, which top cash crop of Uganda brought in 350 million US dollars in fiscal 2008, 50% more than 2007? Mzumbe. Coffee. Is correct for 20 bonus points. In 2008, which South Asian nation began a 1 billion US dollar project to connect all African countries through its communication satellite system? China. No, the correct answer is India. End of round two. There's 30 points in it. 160 points for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 190 for Mbarara University, Uganda. We'll be back to take more of the Zain Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break. In tonight's The Wonderful World Know More About It segment, we'll answer the question, what caused Africa's Great Rift Valley? You may know that the Great Rift extends from Mozambique along Malawi and Zambia, splitting into the western and eastern Rift Valleys through Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya before exiting Africa along the Red Sea. But that's not the end of it. The Great Rift extends all the way to Syria and includes the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee. To see how it was formed, take a flattened piece of paper in both hands, then slowly pull it apart. It will tear along irregular lines. Similarly, the eastern portion of Africa is slowly but surely separating from the rest of the continent. One day, millions of years from now, the Red Sea will fill the Great Rift Valley, separating East Africa from West Africa. Email me at mwalimu at zainafricachallenge.com That's M-W-A-L-I-M-U at zainafricachallenge.com with topics you'd like to know more about.
Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you all very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 160 for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 190 for Mbarara University, Uganda. In the center positions, we now have Alice from Barara University. The notion of change. Which change would you most like to see, Alice? Well, in my profession that I'm studying, which is medicine, I would like to see the university entrance requirements to be more focused on people skills rather than science subjects, because we are having a situation where doctors are just about the disease and not about the actual patient. So that is something which I'd like changed in the universities. People coming first. Yes. Joseph, you are going to be a lawyer. Which change is going to come through you? Well, I would love to change the justice system. This is because I had an opportunity to experience during my field thesis a chance whereby I had to interact with prisoners. And we noticed that the representations in court were for mainly those who could be able to afford the lawyers in that it is not an equal balanced opportunity. This in Africa we can compare to places like the US whereby they have Miranda rights, whereby a lawyer is an obligation whereby someone has to have one. Then in our case it's an obligation if you have the cash to have one. I would love to really change that whereby everyone would get an equal opportunity in court. Well, the playing field is plain and fair here for you to choose a new category. Have a look at our four new categories, Joseph. And they are, A is for adjectives, land borders of Africa, measure up, Venus and Mars. Which is it to be, Joseph? A is for adjective. Adjectives it is. Which six-letter A adjective is the antonym of present? Zumbe. Absent. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which four-letter A adjective means one old? Ancient. No, aged. Two, competent or qualified. Acquiescence. No, four letter, able. able. Joseph, choice of category, please. A is for adjective. Adjective it is. Which five letter A adjective means of or relating to sound or its reproduction? Mzumbe. Audio. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other five letter A adjective means one, enraged or infuriated. Angry. Is correct. Two, watchful or ready. Aware. Yes, giving you a total of 20 points and a grand total of 200 against Mbarara's 190. Joseph, choice of category, please. A is for adjective. Adjective it is. Which five letter A adjective means disassembled or separate? Mzumbe. I'm turning it over to Mbarara. Apart. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other five letter A adjective means one, foreign or unearthly? Alien. That is correct. Two, mm. furnished with weapons. Armed. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 220 against Muzumbe's 200. Alice, choice of category, please. Measure up. Measure up it is. Which anagram of care is a traditional English unit, an area approximately 4,000 square meters in size? Mzumbe. Area. No, Acre. I'm, turning, I'm turning it over to Mbarara. Acre. Acre is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, drop one letter from Acre to name an area of 100 square meters. Area. Area. No, the correct answer is air. A-R-E. Two, a square of that size has which length on each side? Ten. Ten is correct. For 10 points, giving you a total of 240 against Mzumbe's 200. Alice, choice of category, please. Measure up. Measure up it is. Cloth, land, lumber, paper. Which uses the standardized sizes A3, A4, and A5? Barara. Paper. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Angstroms, bells, Daltons, parsecs. Which two are measurements at the microscopic or atomic level? Angstroms and bells. Uh, Angstroms and Daltons, giving you a total of 260. Alice, choice of category, please. Measure up. Measure up it is. Area, length, weight. Which has traditional units named chains, cubits, furlongs, and hands? 
Barara. Length. Is correct. And that flash of lightning means that it's up to you to answer the Zane super bonus question of the day, Alice, for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is football players. Please look at your screen. What is the home country of each of these football players? A, Cameroon. B, Ivory Coast. Yes. C, Ghana. That is correct for 30 points, bringing your total to 300. Alice, choice of category, Measure please. up. Measure up it is. Bale, chain, perch. Which of these is commonly used for measuring and packaging cotton, wool, and straw? Mzumbe. A bale. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Gravity, magnetism, mass. Which is measured in Gauss, Maxwell, and Tesla units? Magnetism. Yes, for 20 points. End of round three. The score stands at 230 for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 300 for Mbarara University, Uganda. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, the new NIPCOM Commission will help protect which type of business property? Is it A, investment property, B, industrial property, or C, intellectual property? SMS your answer to 33996. Choose A for investment property, B, industrial property, or C, intellectual property. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 230 for Mzumbe University, Tanzania, against 300 points for Mbarara University, Uganda. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Mzumbe University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories. And they are two-digit numbers, Bob Marley, political divisions, words spelled the same. Words spelled the same. Words spelled the same. Take a deep breath. Name either word spelled the same, but with a different meaning and pronunciation. And seconds away, to abandon or an arid region. Desert. Desert. Yes. To decline or garbage? Trash? No. To remove an atom's charge or to organize workers? Strike? No. To plant seeds or a mother pig? Mates? No. Tiny or a unit? Minute, minute. Yes. To guide or a heavy metal? Lid? Yes. A video game screen or to offer sympathy? Monitor? No. To anger or an aromatic smoke? Infuriate? No. A small flower or a stringed musical instrument? Pass. To be fluent and clear in speech or to connect via a joint? Eloquent. No. To decline or garbage? Pass. 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 To remove an atom's charge or to organize work? Discharge. Workers? No. Manage. To, no. A video game screen or to offer sympathy? Uh, pity. No. To anger or an aromatic Fury. smoke? Fume. No. 
question. You answered three questions correctly, Mzumbe University, to have a total of 150 in the ultimate challenge, bringing your grand total to 380. Let's have a look at the one that you pronounced wrongly. To decline, refuse or refuse, to organize, unionize or unionize, to plant seeds, sow or sow, a video game screen, console or to console someone, to anger, incense or incense in a church, a small flower is a viola but the instrument is a viola, fluent and clear is articulate but you can always articulate an object. That's it. Mbarara University with 300 points. You're 80 behind and you need two correct answers in the category of your choice. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? Political divisions. Political divisions it is. Take a deep breath, lady and gentlemen. Name the country from its states, provinces or other territories. And seconds away, Cork, Limerick and Kilkenny. Island. Yes. Kedal, Kayes, Sikasso. Pass. Nelson, Auckland, New Zealand. Yes. Chaco, La Pampa, Tierra del Fuego. Cuba. No. Ganzi, Chobe, Queneng. Pass. Bremen, Bayern, Saarland. Yes. Gaza, Zambia. No. Boke, Kindia, Farana. India. No. Dagestan, Murmansk, Irtuks. Finland. No. Tyrol, Carinthia, Salzburg. Australia. No. Kedal, Kayes, Sikasso. Nigeria. No. Chaco, La Pampa, Tierra del Fuego. Spain. No. Ganzi, Chobe, Queneng. Cameroon. No. Gaza, Zambia, Nyasa. No. Boke, Kindia, Farana. Ghana. No. Dagestan, Murmansk, Irkut. Norway. No. Tyrol, Carinthia. Austria. Yes. Kedal, Kayes, Sikasso. Mbarara University, you answered four questions correctly, giving you a total of 200 in the ultimate challenge and giving you a grand total of 500, making Mbarara University, Uganda, the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's take a look at the ones that you got wrong. Kidal, Kayes, Mali. Chaco, La Pampa, Argentina, Ganzi, Chobe, Botswana, Gaza, Zambezia, Mozambique, Boke, Kindia, Guinea, Dagestan, Murmansk, Russia, and that's it. Mzumbe University, Tanzania, Poleni, Batimbaya, Amtarudi, Mwakaujau. We have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each plus 10,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. Mbarara University, let's try Luo. Apoyo. Well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, the University of Lagos, Nigeria takes on Valley View University, Ghana in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again from all of us here. It's bye-bye till next time. Mm -hmm.